Now this problem is related to calculating number of subcells and number of orbitals in a given hydrogen atom. So let us read this problem first and try yourself. So first part of problem says calculate the number of subcells in fourth cell that is n is equals to 4. So we have been given n is equals to 4 that is principal quantum number. and we have to calculate number of subcell. So what is the number of subcell in fourth cell? A number of subcell is basically given by secondary quantum number or azimuthal quantum number. or secondary quantum number. And this is denoted by a small l. And if you remember the value of l is 0 to n minus 1. So if I have n is equals to 4, the value of l will be 0 to 4 minus 1 that is 0 to 3. So value of L, so possible value of L will be 0, 1, 2 and 3. So basically there are 4 subcells. So each of the value of L denotes the subcell. So each value of L denotes a subcell. So basically there are four subcell in n is equals to four that is fourth cell. So this is the first part of problem that is predict the number of subcell in the fourth subcell that is for n is equals to 4. So there are basically 4 subcell possible and values are 0, 1, 2, 3. B part says give the level for each of the subcell. So we have to level them. L is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. If you remember the S subcell is denoted by 0. So S subcell is denoted by 0. P subcell is denoted by 1. D subcell is denoted by 2. And F subcell is denoted by 3. So for each subcell we have corresponding numerical values. 0 for S, 1 for P, 2 for D and 3 for F. This is your B part give the level for each of this subcell. So basically now we can write n is equals to 4 and l basically l is equals to 0. So now level will be n is equals to 4 so I have to write 4 and l is equals to 0 that is basically s subcell so it will be 4s. Now the second one n is equals to 4 and l is equals to 1 and that is basically P subcell. So it will be denoted by 4P. Similarly, N is equals to 4 and we have L is equals to 2 and 2 corresponds to D subcell. So we will have 4D. Similarly, N is equals to 4 
and L is equals to 3 and 3 denotes F sub cell so we will have 4F so basically in N is equals to 4 there are 4 sub cells are possible are possible and namely they will have namely these are 4 S 4 P 4 D and 4 F now next part of question says that is C how many orbitals are in each of these sub cells so we have to find orbitals orbitals in each of the sub cell so let us discuss one by one so let us say first that is L is equals to 0 so we have this 4n equals to 0 L is equals to 1 L is equals to 2 and L is equals to 3 basically these are sub cells and number of orbitals is given by quantum number ml so this will basically give you number of orbitals and this quantum number ml is also called magnetic quantum number so this is magnetic quantum number in sort denoted by M with a subscript L. Now the value of ML lies between minus L to plus L. Value of ML lies between minus L to plus L. So let us take one by one when L is equals to zero. L is equals to zero that is basically we have S sub cell. So what are the possible values of ML? ML lies between minus L to plus L that is minus zero to plus zero that is only one value. So for ML we will have only one value that is zero. So for L is equals to 0 there is only one possible value of ML that is 0. So there is only one orbital. So if I have N is equals to 4 and L is equals to 0 and ML is equals to 0 this will have only one orbital and N is equals to 4 and L is equals to 0 is nothing but 4S. So 4S will have only one orbital now let us take L is equals to 1 if L is equals to 1 ML will lie minus 1 to plus 1 and this is including 0 also minus L to plus L so ML will be minus 1 0 and plus 1 so there are three possible values of ML that is there will be three orbital so three orbital we will have so n is equals to 4 L is equals to 1 and there are three possible values of ML that is minus 1 0 and plus 1 so I can say this is for P so for P will have three orbitals and the value will be minus 1 0 and plus 1 now let us say next one L is equals to 2 so ML will be lie basically minus 2 to plus 2 and that is ML is equals to minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 
and plus 2. So there are 5 possible values. So this means 5 orbitals are possible. So this is L is equals to 2, ML is equals to minus 2, L is equals to 2 and ML is, so this is for N is equals to 4, ML is equals to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So basically this is your 4D. So 4D will have 5 orbitals. Similarly we can do for L is equals to 3. Now in this case we will have ML is equals to minus 3 to plus 3 and that is we will have ML is equals to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so there are 7 possible values so for n is equals to 5 and l is equals to 3 we will have 7 possible values of ml that is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and this is basically so this is 4 so this is 4f so I can say 4f subcell will have 7 d orbitals basically uh, 7 sorry 7 orbitals so we will have 7 orbitals. Now let us try this practice exercise very similar to the Eva one. So this is easy one. Part A says what is the designation for subcell n is equals to 5 and l is equals to 1. So basically l is equals to 1 denotes P subcell. So, so designation will be 5 and then code is P. So designation for subcell is 5P. So designation for subcell will be 5p. Now next part of the question says how many orbitals are in this subcell? So we have L is equals to 1 that is secondary quantum number To know number of orbitals we have quantum number ml and that is basically magnetic quantum number. And we know ml lies between minus l to plus l including 0 so in this case we will have minus 1 to plus 1 including 0 so this is minus 1 0 and plus 1. So these are the possible values of ML. So says how many orbitals are there in this subcell. So there are three orbitals we will have in this subcell. So there are three Now next part is indicate the values of ml for each of these orbitals. So now I know ml values is basically minus 1, 0, 1 and they are basically denoted by so ml values are minus 1, 0 and 1 and these are basically so you see what we have n is equals to given uh, n is not given yeah n is equals to 5 so this is given n is equals to 5 and l is equals to given that is l is equals to 1 and ml is equals to basically minus 1 0 and plus 1 so basically these orbitals will be 5 l is equals to 1 is p and ml we can take one time minus 1 0 1 so 1 will be 5 px 
5 p by and another will be 5 p z. So these are possible orbitals.